everyone, it's Lisa, and today we are going to do a dress, dress, shorts, and bathing suit haul try on. I am partnering with Walmart for this video. You guys know how much I love their dresses. And before I forget, because I will, I was looking on their website this morning. I ordered like some pajamas and stuff I wanted for summertime. I noticed that I was looking on their rollbacks page. That coffee table that I used to have, I saved it for Brooke for when she moved out, but it's the Better Homes and Gardens. It's the one where the whole top of it lifts up so that you can eat while you're watching TV. That is on sale. That is on sale, and if you look on their rollbacks page, you can see a lot of things like some of the dresses that I have shown, and I believe my fragrance of the day is on the rollbacks. So I wanted to tell you that before I forgot. And then let's get on with the dress video. This one, and this is the first time I am trying these on. So I am deciding with you if they are for me. But this one, oh my goodness, it's a Sofia Vergara, and I am in love. I do have on a pink bra. And so I'll tell you what, let's look at it with the bra and then I'll take it off because it kind of has a bra type thing built in. So you could, just depending on how you feel, your size and everything, you could go probably either way. The only thing that was making me think, hello Chanel, that I may not like this is I've told you before, I'm not crazy about lots of volume on my skirts and dresses. But this one, I think because of the weight of it, it is good. And if you have been with me, you know I love a nice shoulder. I love pleated, puff, puffed shoulders. She is dying to get in here. Okay, sit right there. And I love like the ties. I just love anything feminine. This just kind of gives me that, I don't know, it's a very daytime, feminine, sexy vibe. And I love that, I, I just love it. So let's look at it now. And I'm just gonna keep these wedges on the whole time just because they go with everything. That Walmart does carry Steve Madden. Matter of fact, before I forget again, okay, it wasn't Steve Madden, but it was no bow, no boundaries. There was a handbag on there. I wanted to order so bad. I could not figure out why I couldn't just order it. It kept on seeing, like you had to keep seeing if there was a location near you that had it. I'm guessing that they're out of it online. I'm gonna link that below too, because it is, it's one of the kind that I love, like the macrame type bag, beautiful. Okay, so back to the dress. Let me show you the back of it. Let me look at the back of it. Okay, the bra does show across the back. But, you know, I always think if you have a bra that looks good with the outfit and it's the same color, you can kind of get away with that depending on, you know, how you feel. And I think the length is good. I love it. So let me try it without and I'll be right back. This is really, it really ties. So I guess it's adjustable. Okay, I would probably wear it without because you guys know, I don't know, I just don't like pushed up stuff so i probably would just go without i love this i mean this john is going to love he's playing golf right now but i promise you john would love this dress he loves feminine yet sexy stuff like this and now when you look at the back i just think it looks better especially if i were to you know have my hair up it would look so much better so what do you think and I'm sure there are other colors. I'll have to look. But these Sofia Vergara dresses are great quality. Great quality. Matter of fact, I will try on one of the other ones in a different print that I tried from last time. These dresses, I'll tell you when I try it on. So last look at this one. Okay, so here is the dress I was speaking of. Remember when I showed you this in the like it was the creamy tie-dye. I have probably worn that dress three times. Every time I wear these dresses, every place I go, I get a compliment. They are just so cute, so much fun, and they are, I think, 
I know they're less than $20. I put these in the washing machine and in the dryer. I do not dry them the whole way, but I dry them about 50% and then hang them up. And they have been great. So I think the quality of the Sophia Vergara dresses are amazing. So we'll be right back with two more dresses. Okay, so this is the next one. Let me get my phone out of the way. I love it, I love it. This is very similar to the dresses that I've been wearing, but it is a little bit, matter of fact, let me go take the tag off because I know I love it. Okay, the brand of this is something I haven't ever heard of, but it's 9-8, and this is a size small, and the color is Bright Flamingo. You guys know this is one of my favorite colors. This is one of my favorite style dresses, and it does have a slip that kind of goes with it, made into it. It is very, very beautiful. I'm so happy about this. I love the sleeves too. They're like a three quarter length with the little ruffle. And this dress would look so good even with flip flops or your little fancy patent leather sandals or your espadrilles, something like that. And something I thought of too is, I don't know why I always think of teachers. I love teachers though. I admire teachers a whole bunch, so maybe that's it. But I was thinking this would be a good dress for teachers too, to wear with like some comfortable shoes because it's modest, but yet you would still feel so pretty. I feel like, I don't know, I feel like you should still feel good about what you're wearing. And I love it. Love it, love it. This is probably one of my favorite style dresses after I had both my kids. This is what I lived in. And I, I back then, I did exactly what I do now. I would find something I liked and I would get it in every color because that makes you, it makes it easy, kind of like a, what are they, what is the whole thing, capsule wardrobe? It makes it easy to make that decision in the morning and you always have on something you like. And it's just, especially when you're a new mom, that is so valuable. So this is the kind of things that I would wear to all of the baby showers, birthday parties, and everything with the kids. And I would get some form of cool sandal that was a heel, usually a wedge, usually like a flip-flop wedge is what I would wear because I do think it looks good when you have a little bit of a heel. And this was my go-to. So this is something that I have always enjoyed wearing and I still do. Okay, and you know if black is available, I'm going to get it. So I got the black one, and one thing I forgot to tell you last time is this is a zip up the back. And I, I, honestly, I think this could be a good church dress too. Depending on, depending on your church <laughs> and depending on your height, because it may come down a little bit longer on you, but it's just, I think, so flattering. I think it would look good, of course, with a short necklace, but with a neckline like this, I think a long pendant would look really cool and it would elongate your body. I just think it's beautiful. This also would be good for occasions like wedding guests or graduations, things like that. I think it's just, I hope that you can see and tell the fabric. It's just a little bit nicer than the t-shirt dresses and everything. It's really a nice polyester type blend fabric. And because it has the slip underneath and it is attached on the sides, so it'll stay down, it just makes it really flowy and pretty. I just love it, love it, love it. I've been wanting to wear these, but I wanted to wait for this video because I kind of like to do my first impressions with you and I love them. So. Let's go on to, I told myself I would see how I felt by the end of this video about the bathing suit. We, we shall see, so I'll be right back. Okay, so this bathing suit, I actually bought this, remember last year when I bought the one piece to wear as a bodysuit? I bought this to wear as a bodysuit with my long pink trousers, but I thought I would just show it to you guys. <laughs> I'm very nervous. And... In case you were looking for a good bathing suit, I think it's really pretty. It's got the crisscross in the back. It does have pads that come in it, but I took those out. So this is the bathing suit. And then I want to show you what it looks like, or I wanted to show you the shorts. So I figured I would just show these when I had the bathing suit on. 
These are dad shorts. I'm not sure, these are when I told you I had gotten some stuff that I was gonna try and if I didn't like them, I would give them to Brooke. I mean, she would probably cut half of this off, but I wanted to try these and see how I felt about them. This is a new Ur brand. I actually bought this in the store and something else I'm gonna show you, but it's um, Steve Madden, but a different, I don't know, I can't, it's, I'll put the link down below, but it's a different um, division of Steve Madden. It is not easy to change clothes with your wedges on. And I put lotion, I wrote it out here so I can show you. I put lotion on right before I did this. And it made my legs, I mean, I will not be able to wear any skinny jeans, that's for sure. Okay, I like these. Wow, I wish I, kind of wish I would have gotten a size up. These are fives, but they are like from the, you know, teeny bopper section. But this is a cute outfit, I like it. But I liked how they were longer, of course. My Daisy Duke days are gone, but I like them. I can't see in the viewfinder, I'm looking in the mirror, but I, you know, trashed jeans and shorts are always gonna be in style, especially for the summer. Where are you, Chanel? She's in that chair now. And I just loved the color and the print of this bathing suit. I think even if you do like me and wear it as a bodysuit with pink jeans or white jeans, I think it will look great. So, and then let me show you the last thing. I'm not going to try these on because I didn't even buy them thinking I was going to wear them. These are for Brooke. Here it is. The name I was trying to think of is Madden NYC. And these are small, but aren't these pretty? They're a little knit short. But you can wear these as like a bathing suit cover-up, but they are, you know, thick enough, not thick, but woven tight enough that you can actually wear these. And when I saw those, I just knew these would look good on her, and even if she wore them over her bathing suit. And this is something like if you go in Walmart, make sure you check out this little section, the Madden NYC. I don't think I've ever ordered anything but I've, you know, I purchased these pieces in the store. Okay, and last but not least, I wanted to show you some favorites. This lotion, oh my gosh, okay. Do not think you're, like I said, you're gonna be putting any skinny jeans on. It is thick, it hardly rubs in, it is more like smoothing it on like butter, but it gives you the most moisturized, glowy skin for hours, hours. So I wanted to just show you that. And then this is my scent of the day. It's Paco Rabanne Olympia. It is probably one of my favorite scents that I have found. And I believe, I know I ordered mine from Walmart, my original one. And I think they've got it on there on one of their rollbacks. But love it. It is a, it is perfection to me. It is like just sweet enough, definitely vanilla. It's a salty vanilla. And I believe there's a little bit of jasmine in there, which is another flower I'm realizing I really like. To me, I don't know if there's any jasmine at the beach that I go to, but to me, the jasmine note can add a little bit of beachiness. And I love it, love it, love it. One of my favorite discoveries has been the Olympia or Olympia. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you to Walmart for sponsoring this video and I will see you on Friday. Bye-bye.